Boys, in the strongest battlegrounds, there's a couple of things that separates good players from great players. And one of those things is the settings that you use in the game. And today, I'm going to walk you through the top three settings for the strongest battlegrounds. And a few extra settings that will totally help you out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so just off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and set all of my settings to off. And then I'll go through one by one and explain them to you. So yeah, the first setting is the auto activate setting. And the name is pretty self-explanatory, but if you don't know what this does, I'll quickly explain it to you. So basically, at the bottom of your screen, you can actually select individual moves, and then whenever you're ready to use them, you can click. So for example, if I was comboing or something, I'd have to select the move and then use it. But the auto activate setting actually takes a step out of this process. So if I go ahead and enable this, I can spawn in a dummy, and as you can see, whenever I use it, it instantly uses it, as opposed to me having to select it and then click. Now, there's a couple of pro players that have this disabled, because they have insanely unique fighting styles, and it does have a couple practical uses if you have this disabled, but for the most part, you're gonna want to keep this one enabled, because it just makes it so much easier to combo. It takes a whole bunch of extra steps and inputs out of your combos, and even just your everyday gameplay. So yeah, definitely leave that setting on. Alright, let's move on to our second setting, and this one is actually a brand new setting, but it is an absolute game changer, and it is the remove packages setting. So basically, if someone's using core blocks and the skeleton torso and headless, and you can barely see them, they're gonna automatically have the upper hand in every single fight. But if you enable the remove packages setting, then it will actually convert their character back to the original body type. And you can see them perfectly. They can run, but they can't hide with this setting. So yeah, no more pay to win fights, just straight up combat. So yeah, that brings us on to our third item on our list, which is the auto run setting. Do me a favor and turn this one on. Basically, whenever it's off, you actually have to double tap W to sprint. And if you don't, then you just walk at a snail's pace. So yeah, enable auto run because there's way too many runners in this game. And if you have this setting disabled, you're gonna have a hard time catching them. Okay, so there's three settings, but now I'm gonna walk you through the other settings and a couple of bonus settings that will improve your gameplay even more. And our next one is actually reduced camera shake. And guys, I'm pretty sure that this applies to like pretty much every video game ever. If there is a reduced camera shake option, do yourself a favor and enable it. It's gonna make the playing experience way better and it's gonna be way less distracting in combat. There's pretty much no reason to have this setting off. So yeah, do yourself a favor and leave this one off. You'll thank me later. All right, now I'm just gonna go up to the top of the list and cover all the ones that I haven't covered so far. So the next one is emote music. I personally have this one off because most of the emote music is copyrighted and it's just another distraction. But if you're in the duels lobby, you can't really do much to help this considering that there's no settings menu in the duels lobby. But honestly, it's up to you. And the same thing goes for awakening music. Next up is the hide title setting. If you're prestigious enough that you have this setting, I feel like you can make the decision for yourself on this one. Basically, that hides your in-game title. So basically, if you're a developer or a really good player, then you get a title above your head. All right, next up is fast mode. Now, pretty much nobody knows what this does. Most people just kind of assume that it makes your game run faster and they leave it there. But I'm actually gonna tell you what this does because it's actually pretty important to know. So yeah, I actually found the update log from when this was added and here's what they said about it. This should give you around a 20 FPS boost, maybe more, but this isn't guaranteed. And then here's what it does. It reduces smoke and debris from ground craters, disables the tree leaves swaying, reduces the parts of broken models. So like whenever you break a tree or a bench or something along those lines, it'll actually reduce the amount of parts that it uses. So yeah, this actually saves a pretty decent amount of performance. And it also reduces the debris from dashing. So look, whenever you have fast mode enabled, it's gonna do like barely any rocks behind you. But if I disable it and then I dash, you can see that there's actually gonna be a whole lot more debris. And honestly, I don't see the point in having any of the things on that list. So you might as well go ahead and make that red box green, AKA enable it because it's gonna save your performance and it's gonna make your game look a lot cleaner. All right, and next up is blood. Honestly, this one's up to you. I personally leave this one disabled for two reasons. One, because it saves on performance and two, because it keeps the game looking nice. Once again, it all ties back to all the distractions. You wanna keep distractions minimal and focus on combat at a maximum. All right, next up, let's quickly go into your graphics settings. So one question that a lot of people ask is what they should set their graphics to. And a great way to test what you should put your graphics at is on PC to press Shift F5. And in the top left of your screen, you'll see FPS. And then right next to it, it'll tell you how many frames per second you're getting. And this will cap at 60 frames per second. So if you're getting anything below 60 frames per second consistently, I'd recommend decreasing your graphics settings until you can consistently 
instantly get 60 frames per second. And you can actually also use like an FPS unlocker if you want to get more frames per second. But generally, the goal to hit is going to be 60 frames per second. And you can always just switch your graphics mode to automatic if you're not sure. But in my experience, that doesn't really adjust for lag spikes. Oh yeah, bonus tip, set your sound volume to 0.1x and then adjust your volume using the Roblox lighter. It's so much better. This game is so loud, bro. But yeah, guys, you now know the best settings to become a pro in the strongest battlegrounds. So let's go ahead and take these settings into a public server and we can test out just how good they are. Let's do this. All right, I just loaded into a public server. Yo, there's this guy just chilling here. Hold up, let me find the emote that he's using. Oh, here we go. I found it. We have no enemies. Yo, you real one? I said, nah, uh, uh oh, uh oh, we finna get beat up. Oh wait, never mind. Like I said, we have no enemies, bro. There's like chaos happening around us. Yeah, we're just we're just chilling in our chairs. We're just the spectators here. All right, hold up, hold up. Let me join this fight. Here we go. Come on, lethal whirlwind stream. Come on, bring them over here flowing water. Yes, sir. Just like that. Hunter's grasp. Go forward. There we go. Just like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lethal whirlwind stream. Something. No, dude. I'm not going to get my kill stolen. Not today. Not today. Bro, I just got. Okay, never mind. I, I take that back. I am going to get my kill stolen. That wasn't the settings fault. Oh, oh, oh. This person's trying to advance on me. No, 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 no. Not today, boy. Not today, boy. Yep. I'm going to use that auto use. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay. He used his evasive though. So now I can hit him down and then boom, I can use hunter's grass dash forward. Watch this. I bet this guy is not using auto use. Oh, 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 you used your evasive, buddy? Yeah, buddy, that's that's a problem for you. That is a problem for you, my guy. Okay, yep, just like that. Oh, crap, wait, I think I lost connection to the server. Dang it, I didn't cover the internet settings. I'm in the matrix. Time is frozen. Oh, yep, no, I, I got disconnected. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh, what is this? This guy has a space in his username? Wait, can you put spaces in your display name now? Oh my gosh, you can? This is not just a settings tutorial video. This is like a Roblox news video. I don't like that. Oh, yo, yo, yo. This guy's getting some footage of this happening. We're, we're the cameramen. The cameramen never die, except for when they 1v1 like this. Here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, he used his evasive. Nice. Oh, crap, crap, crap. He's got it back. He's got it back. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Lethal whirlwind stream. Let's see. He's probably going to use his evasive. Oh, he's not? Okay, okay. That kind of caught me off guard, but I'm going to go ahead and use flowing water and just like that, baby. That combo probably would have been a lot harder without auto use. Oh, yo. This guy decided to come for me now? Okay, I see how it is, bro. I I see how it is. All right. Okay. Boom. Get behind him like that. Okay. Push him forward. Here we go. Okay. 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 I'm getting third party now. I'm getting third party now. Okay. I see how it is. All right, buddy. I see how it is. I see how you want to play this game. All right, buddy. I see how you want to play this game. No, 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 no. That's fine. That's fine. Is this a 2v1? What is going on here, bro? All right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to hunter's grasp him into that guy. Boom. Come back. Down slam him. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I'm going to try and praise peril. Here we go. Praise peril. Praise peril. No, dude. That was so close. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Hit them both with that move. This is literally a 2v1 right now, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a one finisher. Okay, 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 bro. I see how it is. That's fine. I'm not mad. I'm not mad, bro. I'm not gonna put a space in my name, but I am gonna put some space between me and that guy. All right, I'm armed and dangerous. Never mind. Uh, my trash can just got yeeted out of my arms. Oh, I sense a free kill. Perhaps two. Perhaps two free kills. Yep, two free kills. Easy. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna end the video on that note. Let me know in the comments if you learned something new. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Peace.